This is a really special project. It's two buildings. It's the restoration of an existing brick and terracotta building and a replica of that in metal. Those two buildings will share a courtyard. We're on the corner of Late Street in Washington, looking at the original building, the coffee and tea warehouse. You're on a, a quintessential Tribeca corner with cobblestone and warehouses, amazing light, the river right around the corner. This area of Tribeca has a lot of very large warehouse buildings that were added onto over time. You kind of see the history of the progression. So we have this brick and terracotta original building, and next door we have a version of it that looks like it was just dipped in molten aluminum. One is like the image of the ideal, and the other is the real. Morris's idea was so simple, but so unique. There are beautiful, slender columns that are scattered throughout the building. And instead of burying them into a wall, we really wanted to show some of that old construction. You have the challenges of integrating the old and the new. And how do we create a common ground on the interiors to unify those two spaces? We wanted to have a manufacturer who was a craftsman. I named the company after my grandfather, who was a cabinet maker and a builder, and who I worked for in the summers growing up. Everything is made in Seattle. Everything is handcrafted. It's a combination of European system design and functionality with really great quality. Picture of Aldo Rossi, my mentor. Oh, I learned everything. He wrote a book called The Architecture of the City, and some of those ideas inspired me to look at how we could build in a city and create strong architecture that related to the past, but not necessarily copying the exact detail. 